Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involves a radical and eventually we're gonna check our answer for any extraneous solution as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first step I want you to make sure that the radical has been isolated. To do that one, I want you to move this negative 8 on the right hand side. So this way we have isolated radical on the left hand side and x and when you move this negative 8 on the other side becomes positive 8. Now we want to get rid of this radical or the square root by squaring both sides. So far so good. So this square and square root that undo each other we got 7x plus 50 equals to we will be using this fact a plus b square or simply I'll explain it to you a little bit later. So that's going to be x square plus 16x plus 64. So for the right hand side I use this fact. So you can look at it, I showed you step by step. So let's go ahead and uh, combine everything on one side. I want you to move this 7x on the right hand side and 50 on the right hand side. So what are we going to get? So 0 is going to be on the left hand side and then I'm going to have x squared plus 16x plus 64 is already on the right hand side when you move this 7x to the right hand side become negative 7x and minus 50 as well so let's combine the like terms x square and then 16x take away 7x is plus 9x 64 minus 50 is plus 14 and I can put a zero on this side that doesn't make any difference. So this is a quadratic equation that can be easily factored out. The possible factors are, can you tell me? So that is going to be x plus 2 and x plus 7. So we're going to split them up. So x plus 2 equal to 0. The other x plus 7 equal to 0 that means x equal to negative 2 is one of our solution and x equal to negative 7 another one. Now we're gonna check our answer for any extraneous solution. So let's uh, check out first x equal to negative 2. Let's see we plug it in wherever you see x I'm gonna just look over there x wherever you see x replace it by negative 2 so this is going to happen 2 7 times negative 2 plus 50 and minus 8 my question is is it equal to negative 2 so negative 14 plus 50 the square root minus 8 that's going to give you 36 square root minus 8 that's going to give you 6 minus 8 and on the right hand side is 2 so 6 negative 8 is going to give you negative 2 and that was negative 2 as well so my question is is negative 2 on the left hand side is same as negative 2 on the right hand side yes that means we have a true statement Thus x equals to negative 2 is our solution. Finally we're going to check our answer x equals to negative 7 for any extraneous solution. Once again wherever you see x you replace it by negative 7. So let's see what happens. So 7 times negative 7 plus 50 and then minus 8 question mark is this thing is it equal to negative 7 so 7 times uh, negative 7 is negative 49 plus 50 square root minus 8 that's going to give you square root of 1 minus 8 
that's 1 minus 8 on the left hand side and on the right hand side is negative 7 is negative 7 on the left hand side is same as the right hand side negative 7 yes and the statement is true thus x equal to negative 7 is our solution as well so that means we got both x equal to negative 2 and x equal to negative 7 are both are our solutions thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos